I was debating on having a slice of pizza, pizza. with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick, and you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. So come to take us a picture of the camera in the bottom of the case. Go bang, bang. Follow us on personal YouTube channel in the description below. We're doing a movie review. In case you didn't read the thumbnail, which would be weird because you clicked weird. on the video. You did, uh, <laughs> or maybe you clicked on another thumbnail, thinking you were on that thumbnail, and you accidentally clicked on this. Welcome to this one. But we are we? doing a movie review of the Canada. Sorry, not Canada. Yeah, no. Uh, Tamil like, film, <laughs> Ka Kaka, which is weird. Because in, in in English, well, in Spanish and Spanish, in Spanish caca means poop. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's little kids can you know, ooh, it's caca. Oh, caca. In the East Coast, that was a big thing for little kids. It's caca, uh, but it's called caca mutai mutai, I guess. Um, yeah, which caca I mutai. Did you figure out what that actually means? No, I guess we should. We should. Uh, I, I don't know. know that, but yes, it's a 2014. Because there was caca mutai senior and caca mutai junior. Yeah, um, 2014. Uh, it says comedy drama. Um, sorry, I'm just looking up the... That works. I would call it a dramedy. Crow's what? Egg. Okay. Crow's Egg. That makes crow's sense. Egg. That makes sense. So uh, he's Crow's Egg Senior and Crow's Egg Junior. Yes. Uh, directed by... Say his name for me, please. Uh, directed by M. Uh, Manakandan. And produced by Danush. Yes. Uh, and, and amongst others, written by Anand... Uh, Anamale. And then... Also written by um, yeah, the, the director collaborative as well. writing. Starring, um, who are the, let's see. Those are the kids. Yeah, right? yeah. Ramesh and Jay Vignesh. And then, is that the Ashwarya mama? Ashwarya Rajesh. Yes, yeah. that's mama. And, uh, and a few other people. And the only one we knew previously, I believe, was Yogi Babu. Yes. Who we've seen in a couple things Correct. as well. So uh, if you haven't watched it, uh, go watch it. Come back because it's going to be 100% spoiler review. Just how we like to do things. Came out in 2014. We got to see it on Hot Star. Uh, so if you'd like to go watch it, go watch it and come back. Rick, your initial thoughts, please. My initial thoughts are, I, um, aside from some of the, the acting challenges that I have, mm. as far as just some things with indicating, uh, uh, not from the leads, I felt like the leads were very, very good mm -hmm. with the, the kids and the mom. Yeah. Um, my only complaint is, is that aspect of it, story off the charts i love the story yeah. so that ultimately my takeaway from this is i really liked this movie yeah um in many respects i was watching this and thinking to myself this should have gotten more attention than slumdog millionaire yeah absolutely uh it just came out the same year uh no this came out that came out wasn't it 2000 early 2000s that came out in early 2000s early okay. 2000s yeah but but uh, obviously it wouldn't have been able to be in the same conversation but if someone were if someone were saying to me they were going to watch Slumdog Millionaire, I'd say that's fine. But if you really want to see a more realistic depiction with a better message, yeah, uh, you should watch this. Yeah, I actually really really enjoy this. It's probably one of my favorite Tamil films. There is uh, one. The big issue I have is probably um, towards the end when I think they focused a little bit too much on the business okay. people. And I didn't care about them. I understand right. why they're there, of course. Right. And I think that could have been in the story. I just think you focus the entire time on this kid, these two kids and the mom, and that's who I care about. Yeah. And then you try to introduce these other people. Obviously, they have this dilemma of, you know, they slapped a kid. And, right. And, and you need that in the story. Yeah, and you need that in the story. I just don't think they needed to focus as much because I don't think, one, those actors were as strong. Agreed. And I didn't care about that part of the story. I, I agree. Much. That could have been a good change. Um, so I think they could have at least maybe, maybe cut that part it made it a little tighter. Yeah. Um, Cause other than that, I, I really, really enjoyed the film. I thought our two leads were phenomenal. Well, they were great. Uh, I thought the mom was fantastic. Was I even loved the grandma. I thought I the grandma was great. She, she was perfect because there weren't any flaws in anything she did. Yeah. Um, at all. And the grandma was good, except there were only, there's a couple times where there's uh, indicating, by the way, is a terminology, many of you would know this, many of you don't, but indicating is something in acting that you're supposed to not do because it doesn't come from a place of uh, genuine expressiveness. You're doing something just to do it versus doing it because it's generated from something internally with a why attached to it of deeper meaning. So when somebody's gonna cry, this is the most stereotypical indicator of somebody who's not trained, is they'll go to wipe a tear that isn't there. Mm. That's a lie. There, if there's no tear to wipe, don't wipe a tear because what you're doing is you're creating a behavior to make us think you're crying. We don't need to think you're crying. We need to believe you're crying. Yeah. And those those are just little minutia that cause the acting because I've been breaking down these aspects for my um, 
rating of films. And so acting is obviously for us way high up there. That's pretty much it yeah. for me. I agree with the story change. I think they could yeah. have focused more and stayed with most of the end. acting that that I had a problem with was in that in that part of the film of mm -hmm. the, when it was the business people trying not to get sued. Even though there was some funny moments in there, obviously with with how much money they're paying him and, and the funny moments and like that. But I think that could have been chopped into a much finer yeah that that didn't uh, take up that much time. Uh, still, obviously, you needed it for the story because right. let's get on to the story. Yeah, I, yeah, I yeah. really enjoyed the story uh, for lots of reasons. Obviously, these two kids who played these roles brilliantly. Very um, believable. They were, they were just kids. They had no yep. idea that their world was any different from another kid. Very Florida project -y. Yeah, yeah. So they were like, they, they saw this other kid who, the, yeah, he has more money, but, I, but he's a kid. He's a kid. We're mm -hmm. having... We're having fun. Uh, we're, we're having friendships together, and they, they just um, they don't s understand why somebody would look at them and not let them in a store mm -hmm. because of the way they look. They, they don't understand why they like all this stuff is just over their head because they're just kids. Kids don't notice that stuff. Correct. Even if it's like a drastic, these are kids from a, a really poor part of town, slums, right? And you you think that obviously the the parents will know, but like kids, they just. They are, they're oblivious. Yeah. Kids are, I mean, kids are smarter than we give them credit for. I'm not saying that. I'm saying in terms of like their situation, if they're happy, that's, that's, yeah. that's all How many care. stories have you heard of adults that has said that as a kid I grew up with, I didn't realize that but when I was a kid, we were really poor. Yeah. But as a kid, I didn't think we were poor mm -hmm. because we were happy mm -hmm. and we, you know, we, we had what we had and we were happy with what we had. The other thing about the, the child aspect of it is, uh, how many times kids experience things that adults take for granted and don't realize how much it impacts a kid. Something as simple as this. When they, when they saw the tree go down and they saw their playground getting changed, that's, a, that's something you carry with you all your life. Mm -hmm. That's a story that when you're 35 years old, you're saying, I don't know why it hit me so much, but when I was nine years old, yeah. They took our tree down where we used to go get the crow eggs with my brother and that was the first time in my life I learned about loss. And that can be a big, big deal. 100%. And that was one of my things I loved the most about this was, uh, it, first of all, it was a reminder of how blessed we are when you realize this is a reality. There are oh, so yeah. many millions of people, especially little kids, their, their dream is to just be able to taste what pizza tastes like. Yep. And you and I can just go buy a pizza, whatever the hell we want to buy a pizza. And a good pizza at that. Right, I and a good pizza. Immediately yeah. that was shitty. Pizza. We could tell it was bad pizza. <laughs> and and it's not a surprise because I've tasted pizza in India and it's Indiafied. It's yeah. not it's not really good. But that was I, I, I love that. I thought it was great at the end. I was yes. Like, I because I was like, they're gonna hate they're it. They're gonna hate it. Like they're you're not used to this style of food and one, it looked terrible. Yeah. It looked like god Garbage. awful pizza. Yes. <laughs> and I love that the it, the message was the grass isn't always greener. I love that he said, Grandma's dosa tasted better than yeah. this. Uh, and that's another aspect that I really, about the story that I really enjoyed, the um, the fact that all this was happening. The kids are oblivious to the um, them trying to right the wrong, pay somebody. Right. Basically, all these other people, these other two guys from the slums that are trying to take advantage of that situation and get money off it. Right. These adults from the restaurant that are right. trying not to get in trouble. Right. Then the politicians come along trying right. to make it about them. Right. And all that the kids care about it is pizza. All the mom cares about. She didn't even know it. No. She didn't even know what was going on. And she was like, I just want my fucking kids. Exactly. And <laughs> I was all pissed off that she didn't go and, into the restaurant. And I thought that was a, a lovely moment for her and well-directed. When she finally does see the clip of her son getting slapped, and she there's here's a great opposite of indicating. <laughs> She's watching the scene mom and the rage. tear and the tear rolls. Mom rage took over. Yeah, yeah. Mo mom was very and I loved when they were running and she called them yeah. and they're like, "That's mom." <laughs> <laughs> hey, mom. <laughs> <laughs> it was just so innocent uh, and the, how wonderful it is to be that innocent and not like. Because all these other people were worried about getting paid, about not uh, mm -hmm. having a publicity done. It, another great moment was the news was covering their story. These two kids who this story was about got pushed to the side. Right. Right. <laughs> and told to go around. Right. When it's literally about them. Right. Like, no one actually cared. They just wanted their their part of it. Because they, they were trying to take advantage of, you know, the eyeballs on it. The... 
obviously the restaurant was trying not to get sued or, or shut down. Politicians were doing what politicians do and taking right. advantage and, of And even the connection yeah. with the endorsement by the superstar, mm -hmm. that aspect too, I thought was smart. So yeah. from, from a story which the number one criteria for a film is going to be story because film is storytelling. And I, I just felt like this was as good as story can get. Very and believable, our, uh, moral to it. Our two kids. Um, great job. We see a lot of great kid acting in India. I'm so shocked. Yeah, we do. Because we don't get a lot of it here. Mm -mm. Yeah. That's rare. Which is, I don't know why. I don't well, know. I, I don't know either. Maybe it's because they're not performing? <sighs> it could be that it's not in their head as much. Maybe. I think kids here in America, it's in their head. And they're thinking about all the they opportunities. They know what the industry is. They, they know, know the industry, the opportunities that are ahead for them. If their parents are probably If they've got them. stage parents, mm -hmm. whereas in India, for them, they're probably doing it the way these kids are doing every moment. It's yeah. just, yeah, this would be fun to do, and we'll just do this, and then when we're done, can I go play? They literally look like kids you could have picked up on the street and, and yep. did a great job. Kind of like in other films, uh, Kila and, and other films that are kid-centered. It, it seemed just like that. They were just very natural yeah yeah it's, it's i don't i don't understand why like we don't rock star yeah we don't get a lot of it here i mean there's some it is rare that's why we talk so much about like the last time it happened was a few years ago i haven't seen anything like it since florida project in a, in a western film outside of in game of thrones when uh, yeah what's her face of uh, course but 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 that that i'm talking like in a motion picture that is carried by the kids where mm -hmm. the kids are the the main story spy um, kids. yes spy kids. <laughs> So, the, yeah, they were they, great. They did great. Uh, the mom. The mom was great. I thought mom killed this role. I 100% believed her yep. uh, in everything she was doing. It was also really interesting going into the story. The fact that we never knew why the dad right. was in jail. I love that. And they didn't touch on it in the end. I, I There was it. no resolution to that. None. And I was like, that is super interesting. Normally, like, if it's a big thing, like, you always thought that they were eventually going to get the dad out. Right. They were, I, my wife thought it was like, she thought, I, she thought at the end they were going to get the politician to get the dad out of the right. jail. Right. But then it just ended. And it's, I was like, that is super interesting. One, that doesn't normally happen. People like closure and they sure. like to know this thing, but it, I thought it was a testament to how the film was. It was like a slice of life. Not mm -hmm. all the... Things were answered. This was a story about the kids wanting pizza. A super simple story. Since that is so great. Yeah, that's one of those things where you, if you do a log line and you're pitching this thing, and if all you said was, two kids want pizza. it's a story about two kids in poverty who just want to get a piece of pizza. It's intriguing. That is very intriguing. <laughs> because it's so simple. And the story is very simple. Uh, similar to, uh, what do you, what story? What am I thinking of? I just lost it. I just <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Kid movie? Yeah. Kid story? Yeah. Not Florida Project. No. Oh, fuck. Recent? Uh, it was an Indian one. I forget what it was. Okay. But in terms of just how it's a completely simple story. It's just two kids who want pizza and things unfold. Yep. That's it. That's it. And sometimes you don't need more than that. No. Uh, and I think it's wonderful that they just let it kind of breathe like that. Uh, hats off to Danush. I think this is the first, unless one of his films he produced. Um, but this is the first solely produced Danush film, I believe, that we've seen. And we've been told that he likes to produce things that are very artistic. Uh, That's wonderful. In, in, in terms of, like, getting stuff that wouldn't normally get out there. Yeah. Like him attaching his, obviously, finances and his name to it will help it get out there even more. Yeah. I think it's wonderful. I love it. It reminds me, and I think he probably approached it this way, there's a really great video clip of Christopher Reeve, who was the original Superman mm -hmm. in, in motion pictures, not on TV, but Christopher Reeve, who I love. And he's talking about film in the, the 1980s. And that was at the time when the movie Bonfire of the Vanities was out. And that, that came from literature. And there was this trend that was happening that he said, when the film industry started in America, the, the people who wanted to make films were very well versed, well educated in the arts, and they wanted to create these pieces of art. And then business people started to take over the industry. And they didn't really have much care about art and literature as much as they did profits. Mm -hmm. And what happened is people were starting to make decisions about films, not based on story, but based on who can bring in the biggest box office. Mm -hmm. And for him, it was a warning and felt the audiences really would, they just want a good story. And if their stars happen to be in it, it's secondary. And that's what I loved about this. This didn't have any names. Mm -hmm. It had a great story. 
I much prefer something like this mm -hmm. than to some formulaic thing with stars in it. Yeah. This is what movie making is supposed to be about. And I, right here. Uh, uh, shout out to uh, GV uh, pra Prakash. Yeah, Prakash Kumar. Uh, I thought yeah. the score Agreed. was fantastic. Agreed, beautiful very score. Very subtle, but also very unique at times. Um, I thought it complemented the film and its simplicity very, very so, well. So did the cinematography. This is one of those things in cinematography where Nobody's probably going to talk about it because there aren't a lot of bells and whistles that draw your eye to it technically. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it too was really intimate. The, the spaces they filmed in were incredibly confined. Mm -hmm. And sound-wise, this wasn't done on sound stages. You know, they were, this was in a neighborhood. Yeah. So the, the technical aspects of this to make it feel believable and real almost like someone was there documenting it, documentary style. Yeah. Uh, and everything, when I think about the film, I just see everybody's face like this. Everything was so intimate and so close. Yeah. Uh, it's just really well done. I'm looking at the, the list of Tamil films and there's a lot that I really, really enjoyed. Yes. Uh, so it's hard to actually say, because obviously 96 was fantastic. The, mm -hmm. the boxing one that I can't pronounce is fantastic. Right. I really love good. Super Deluxe, Super Deluxe. Uh, Bombay, Bombay. Sarapathi. Uh, Roja, uh, Hey Ram, mm -hmm. um, and then uh, Par Parambu as well. A bunch of ones that really, really enjoyed. This is probably one of the ones that it's one of the easiest watches because it's it's one. It's a it's a nice watch, right? It's not. There's not a lot of like really stuff that's going to either enrage you or in uh, in terms of like like you know how. Um, Mimi, you know, enraged you. And, yes, and it's like stuff the injustice. Like, yeah, there's not stuff like that. This is like more of like a, these kids want pizza. Right. This is, this is really, really cute. I mean, right. it makes you sad at times, obviously. Right, with, but. with very, it's, it's really interesting. For a film that doesn't have those kinds of cathartic, angering, triggering things, it does have really big moral lessons it's oh, teaching. And that's, that's another, it's such a watchable film yeah. that it really is for me, the film that if somebody's getting introduced to Indian cinema and they say to me, should I watch Slumdog Millionaire? I would say, you probably should for the history of it. Yeah. I'd wait until you know some of the people in it first. And if you're really wanting to get realistic depiction of what it's like for kids who live in poor areas of India, you should much, much watch yeah. this instead. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Uh, really, really enjoyed this film. Uh, also, this was the Patreon uh regional film of the month. Thank you, um, Patreon. So thank you to Patreon. If you'd like to Great join call. Patreon um, every month, they get to pick everyone on Patreon. Uh, gets to pick one regional and one Hindi film uh, every single month. Uh, it's not based on polls and recommended on only on Patreon. So that's one of the perks you get on the, sh even like the smallest, the, 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 the smallest year. Two. I don't know, whatever yeah. the, the base, the first year. Uh, it's <laughs> the word I'm trying to uh, say. But yes, um, so thank you so much to Patreon for recommending us. Let us know what you thought of the film down below and what should be the next Tamil film that we should watch down below. Yeah.